We got a few stories to get into today, so let's start with the biggest one. The biggest question right now is who is this masked man or woman behind the SmackDown glitches and the Mandy Rose reveal? So we've been seeing their glitches for countless weeks now, but we never thought much of it. We saw what many thought was a clock that was running out of time. Originally, everyone assumed that it was Kay Cross or Scarlet, but that doesn't seem to be the popular choice anymore. Cross's teasers have been actually showing up on NXT, with what seems to be Scarlet doing the voiceover work for the teasers. So them two debuting together is definitely looking like an outcome. But going back to this new SmackDown hacker, we do have a few more things to work with and get into. So let's take a look at what we have so far. So one thing that's confirmed about this gimmick is that this superstar, whoever they are, is most definitely a hacker. They're not only running the security cameras, remember that this superstar also took over the official WWE Twitter page a few weeks ago. We saw that mysterious tweet go up on WWE's official Twitter page that said the truth will be heard, and it was upside down. That tweet picked up a lot of attention and was taken down so fast that some fans thought it was a fake tweet, but it was most definitely real and part of this new character. And it also shows how much power this superstar has with this gimmick. It definitely seems like he is quite the big hacker in this storyline, which is real interesting because he could have a lot of power and a lot of dirt on pretty much any superstar he picks. So let's get into their reveal. So this masked man was recently revealed on SmackDown. From the brief few looks that we got of him and his workplace, we see that he has a little control center with what seems to be every camera angle in the WWE. It doesn't seem that he is in one of the production trucks either. It looks like he's in a small custom control center and he's taking the feeds from the WWE cameras and has multiple screens, computers, and phones. They turn around, but their face is covered, and their voice is also disguised. He plays the video which shows what a lot of us predicted a few months ago. Sonya Deville was the one that sabotaged Mandy and Otis's relationship while working with Dolph Ziggler as well. So this was a massive reveal and basically flips the entire story upside down. Mandy and Dolph Ziggler seem to be done after the reveal that Ziggler was only with her as part of the deal with Sonya. Fire and Desire also seem to be done as well. There's just no way Sonya Deville can explain herself to Mandy, especially when we got those camera angles that tell the whole story in great detail. There's not any coming back from a reveal like that. So this makes everything a bit more interesting. Sonya and Dolph Ziggler were both working Mandy hard with their plan, which really leaves Otis as the only one that was true to Mandy. So could we see Otis and Mandy get another chance to be together? It's definitely looking like a possibility, especially after this reveal. Now, I've been seeing that some fans are mixed about the whole hacker gimmick and the reveal being done the way it was done. Some fans think it was a cheap way to tell the story and make that reveal. I can definitely understand that because with a character like this hacker, he can just have any footage. So it is a pretty easy way to make a reveal and just say it was hidden cameras. But it still adds to the story. And now the Otis and Mandy story is about to pick up once again. So who is this hacker character? Is it a man or is it possibly a woman? Right now, it looks like we're leaning towards this hacker being a man. The popular name behind the character is a name that was mentioned the first week we saw the teasers. That is Ali. Ali has been gone from WWE television for a few months now, but fans have been connecting him to this new hacker character. Starting off with the blue theme and the blue circle that the character uses, it's very similar to the blue circle on Ali's glove. And that's where the connection started to come together for this theory. They do look very similar. It seems that Ali could make a lot of sense to be behind this character, and it could be a great repackage for him depending on how he's used. But the hacker gimmick opens up a lot of possibilities, so that's going to help them make the character way more interesting. So we'll have to wait and see what happens next for this hacker. Were they only interested in revealing the truth behind Maddie Rose and Sonya Deville? and will reveal themselves after this current storyline ends? Or will this character continue with the theme of the truth will be heard? They will continue to reveal shocking truths about everything going on backstage. Even though that does sound interesting to see what else this person has on all their cameras, I think it'll be pretty ridiculous to see them get involved in literally every single storyline going on right now. So you definitely don't want to overdo it in that sense. 
If you're going to use this character for things like that, then it has to be done in moderation, little by little, and it could possibly work. Having them continue to show footage of multiple cameras backstage, maybe all of the superstars will start to get a little more cautious from now on. And of course, we have to wonder when this character will be revealed. Will they willingly come out and confront someone, or will the superstar have to get together and work on a plan to track this hacker character down? That's going to be the big question that has to get answered, but WWE can definitely ride this mask character out for a while. We all know reveals haven't been so amazing in recent history. Just look at Eric Rowan's cage reveal, for example. Eric Rowan's cage had the most hype when it was covered up and mysterious. So maybe that's how the hacker character should be treated as well. Just keep him masked and disguised for as long as possible. And just do as much as you can with him before that reveal. I like the idea of Ollie being behind this character. He's a great in-ring talent. His promos are strong and this could be something that gives him that little boost that he needs. Maybe he turned to this hacker gimmick for his on-screen character because he was tired of being ignored and wanted to help people in the process. Just so many different directions that you could go with this new character. So I'm definitely excited to see where this one goes. So for our bonus story of the day, we'll be taking a look at how WWE completely removed a promo that John Cena had on Bray Wyatt. We all know John Cena has been pushing the boundaries on his promos on Bray Wyatt lately, so let's swap over and take a look at that story.
So WWE's decision there was definitely a good one. It's understandable that John Cena is trying to get as real as possible. But bringing up Husky Harris and saying that The Fiend is only using a mask is just really out of boundaries and disrespectful to this character. So WWE pulled those lines out. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? How did you like the hacker character reveal? And what did you think of John Cena's deleted promo about Bray Wyatt? Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.